Hello, my name is Giuseppe Stragapede. I'm a PhD student in the BIDA lab at the Universidad Autónoma de Madrid in Spain. Today I will be presenting our paper titled Mobile Keystroke Biometrics Using Transformers. The authors of these papers are myself, Paula Delgado Santos, Ruben Tolosana, Ruben Vera Rodriguez, Richard Guest and Aitami Morales. This work has been carried out in collaboration with the University of Kent and it is included in the framework of the PRIMA project. Keystroke Dynamics were introduced for desktop and laptop computers long before the advent of mobile devices. Therefore, a typical classification of keystroke dynamics systems is then based on the scenario, desktop or mobile. Another classification is given by the text format, fixed text in the case of predefined sequences such as passwords or free text, as in the case of emails. In the free text case, the recognition performance is typically lower given the unstructured and sparse nature of the data. In general, keystroke raw data consists in the timestamp of the key press and key release events, the code of the character selected, and depending on the device, additional information related to the pressure, the size of the fingertip, etc. From these, several features are typically extracted before being processed by a classifier. The considered deep learning architecture is based on a transformer. Transformers were firstly proposed in 2017 and they are based on an encoder-decoder architecture. This slide provides a graphical representation of the proposed transformer, based on an adaptation of the encoder part of the Vanilla transformer, which was the first proposed transformer, and it was developed for the application of natural language processing. The Vanilla transformer showed impressive results, but needed some adaptations in order to be used to, for time sequences. The pre-processed keystroke input sequence is introduced into the transformer model and encoded by a Gaussian range encoding block to provide a representation of the locations of each entity in the sequence. Then our transformer comprises of two different models, a temporal model and a channel model. The temporal model extracts information from the original input sequence, temporal over channel features, while the channel model transposes the input sequence. Each of the models comprises of two sublayers, a multi-head self-attention mechanism and a multi-scale keystroke CNN. The multi-head self-attention mechanism is responsible for linking each of the samples along the entire input sequence. The procedure extracts long-range dependencies without limiting the time window size. Then each sublayer is followed by a residual connection and a layer normalization. The multi-scale keystroke CNN comprises convolutional layers with value activation and different kernel sizes. A batch normalization and a dropout layer are introduced in between. A convolutional block is placed after each model. The CNN features are then concatenated and introduced into a softmax layer. We only use the encoded part of the transformer to model keystroke dynamics into an output space of feature embeddings, where the reciprocal positioning of different embeddings is measured through the Euclidean distance. The Alto Mobile Keystroke Database comprises free text keystroke dynamics data from around 260,000 subjects. A mobile web application was implemented for the data acquisition in a totally unsupervised way. The subjects were asked to read English sentences and to type them as rapidly and accurately as possible in their own smartphones. In the present work, we select all subjects that completed at least 15 acquisition sessions, around 60,000. First, from the raw keystroke data consisting in the information about the timestamp of a key press and key release events action, we extract four features, the interpress time, interrelease time, the hold time and the fly time and we include the ASCII code related to such keystroke. In terms of experimental protocol, we train the model with triplet loss for a thousand epochs. The development set includes 30,000 users, the validation set includes 400 users, and the final evaluation set includes 1,000 users, in order to replicate the experimental protocol of the reference study, which will be described in the next slide. The data sets are not overlapping. We selected all the users that had at least 15 acquisition sessions. Therefore, we consider a variable number of enrollment sessions, 1, 5 and 10. 
we test every user with five separate verification sessions to generate the genuine distribution, and one verification for all the other users in the test set which represent imposters for the selected users. By doing so, we obtain 999 values in the imposter distribution per user. We evaluate our system with the equal error rate, which is computed in two ways, considering genuine and imposter distributions per user, and then averaging, and we call it average equal error rate, or globally over the entire distributions put together, and we call it global equal error rate. Finally, we can see that the training equal, equal error rate graphs are quite regular for both the training and the validation set. To evaluate our system, we consider a recently published state-of-the-art article of keystroke biometrics based on a long short-term memory recurrent neural network called TypeNet. We replicate the same experimental settings by using the same database and protocol. In the table, we can see the performance achieved by, some syst by such system and the performance achieved by the proposed transformer. Along the rows, we have different amount of enrollment sessions, and we consider the two different ways to, comp to compute the equal error rate explained before, average equal error rate and global equal error rate. We can see that the proposed transformer is able to outperform TypeNet in all cases, reaching 3.15% of average equal error rate with 10 enrollment sessions. In general, there is a solid proportional performance increase related to the amount of enrollment data, and a separate threshold per user always leads to better performance. In this slide, we have a graphical representation of the system performance through the debt curves, where our proposed approach is represented by the solid line and the reference study by the dashed line. We can see that even with one enrollment session, our transform outperforms the RNN with 10 enrollment sessions. On the right hand side, we can see a representation of the embedding space considering 10 users throughout the popular method called TSNE, which stands for T Distributed Stochastic Neighbor Embedding. This method is used to uh, visually represent points of high dimensional spaces. We can see here that apart from few outliers, the embeddings of different users are represented by different colors are quite well separated. In conclusion, within this paper we have proposed a novel keystroke verification system for the challenging free text mobile scenario. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first study that explores transformers for keystroke biometrics. The proposed approach achieves equal error rates values of 3.84% using only 5 enrollment sessions over the popular and public Alto mobile keystroke database, outperforming by large margin previous state-of-the-art approaches. Finally, we make our, our proposed approach and experimental framework available to the research community at the link below. I leave here some links to related resources. Thank you very much for your attention.